The next contest is a heavyweight contest of eight three minutes rounds. Introducing to you firstly in the blue corner. We're in the blue trunks with white trim. He comes from Minsk in Belarus and weighs in at 16 stone, one pounds. Tonight, engaging in his 22nd contest. Please welcome Roman Sukaterian. And his opponent across the ring in the blue corner, wearing the red trunks. He fights out of Liverpool and weighs in at 17 stone, 9 pounds. As an amateur, he was three times ABA Super Heavyweight Champion, 2006 Melbourne Commonwealth Games gold medalist, and 2008 Beijing Olympic Games bronze medalist. As a professional, he enters the ring with seven wins. Undefeated, five of those wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome David Price. <laughs> your timekeeper is Peter McCann. Your referee at the bell is Phil Edwards. Boxes, please. Okay, gentlemen, you follow my instructions. When I tell you to break, take a step back, watch those heads in close. Touch gloves. Good luck to you both. First round. Eighth appearance for promoter Frank Maloney's enticing, well-schooled heavyweight hope David Price. Prestigious amateur and an improved polish to his professional displays now. Could be one to really emerge on the scene. The Belarusian Roman Sukuterin, the task tonight. And Price beginning his career off, Jim, very nicely indeed. Yep, um... I think once he settles well into the pro game, which is exactly what he's doing at the moment, he's going to be very difficult to beat. Excellent boxer, excellent amateur pedigree. Massive, strong, decent puncher. Yeah, bright future. If he can take one on the chin, which is always the big question with heavyweights, then a bright future. There was that question mark through his amateur career, but... Nothing really problematic as a pro so far for Price, who does everything rather well. Textbook, good jab, looking for the uppercut against the smaller man. 35-year-old Sukaterin, who's never been stopped. Might be resilient, but will he be able to take Price's power and the quality of punch? Well, he's boxing behind that high guard just trying to bore his way close and get some punches off he wants to make it a little bit messy obviously it's price's job to keep him on the end of the jab get the punches off a little bit earlier don't allow him close good work with the right hand body shot and uppercut from david price such a bubbling scene the domestic heavyweights with the likes of tyson fury and Larry Olabamiwo, Tom Dallas, plenty of them on the rise. British champion Derek Chisora, of course, who's got that amazing world title opportunity out in Germany against Vladimir Klitschko. It's wide open. Yeah, well, Price trying the uppercut a couple of times there, which is the perfect punch for an opponent coming forward with that high guard. So you can see he's thinking what he's doing. He's retained a lot of his amateur moves, but developing into a decent looking pro as well. A lovely combination about 20 seconds or so ago from Price. Real thinker. He is tall at six foot eight, but he makes good use of that with the jab. Like that. You know, I think for a tall heavyweight, the special one that tall, you want to develop a good job, then he's doing that. Three and out. It's a good start. Just keep on the end of that jab. Start looking for, for other shots off it. Do you want that out? Leave it in. Okay. It's out. The price corner. 27 now, David. Yeah, well, controlling things uh, from long range, and that's uh, the uppercut. He tried a couple of uppercuts in the opening round. 
Those are sickening punches. If Sukatern keeps marching forward the way he's doing and he's walking onto a few of those uppercuts, that'll take some of the enthusiasm away from him. Good opening round. You're in now. Good price. Alright, so just relax now. Nice, nice shot, start flowing. Okay, Granny Smith, Frank Hopkins in the corner. Usually find Dave Colwell there. Six out for round two. Second round, the red trunks of the big Liverpool fan, David Price, who will be uh, happy that matters have resolved a little at Anfield this week. Getting his jab flowing against Roman Suketarin, who's more experienced. 21 professional appearances, but couldn't afford he's met anyone with the pedigree of David Price. Three-time ABA Super Heavyweight Champion, Commonwealth Games gold medalist, and bronze at the Beijing Olympics. It's great stats, isn't it? Yeah, he's turned pro with a, a real reputation. OK, obviously a totally different game, the pro game, but I think he's developing well. Yeah, he's, he's kind of shortening the jab here. I think he should be thumping it out. Even if it's not landing cleanly, it'll knock Sukaterin off balance and let him follow through with some of the other punches. He puts them together well. Sukaterin coming off a win, a third round stoppage of Sergei Markov, and that was at the end of September. He should be in good shape and trying his best to come forward. A good body shot from Price. Quick hands too, Jim. Yeah, well, he's doing the right things here. He, he, he's starting nice and steadily in the first minute of the round, then digs in with the punches. Obviously, Sir Catherine is going to let, let some punches go early. He's going to have a little bit of ambition, but uh, body shots like that as the round progresses will take the enthusiasm away. So he's a thinking fighter, and you can see that in everything he does. David Price. Really utilising the jab. You know, with the tall guys in recent times, like the Klitschko brothers and Lennox Lewis, you know, everything comes off that punch. It can be a really potent weapon. Nice uppercut, too, from Price. Got the moves. You can see when Price shows a little faint to uh, the way Sikaterin goes into a shell. I think he realises he's going to struggle here to shine. So he's maybe just going to have to try to be as competitive as he can, keep himself in there. But uh, what we've seen so far, Price, a little bit too good for him. Yeah, Price want to keep him some distance, and Sukalarin attempting to get closer and load his own combinations, but lovely work there from Price to body and head. I think he might be the classiest of these young heavyweights around at the moment. Yeah, I think he's the most skillful. But uh, when we're talking over the longer distance, when we get to championship 12 rounders, that's not all that counts. Valerie Kaplia leading proceedings. Always think he looks like a young choir boy alongside Philip Fondu, former gamekeeper and dentist, man of many talents. Yeah, well, this is not a game for choir boys. Uh, some good body punching from Price now. He's realising the high guard, there's target behind the elbows, and coming back with the uppercut, putting punches together well, boxing well, just keeping himself in control. Right. Nothing dramatic yet. Starts to warm up to it but now, winning so. it clearly. Enjoy yourself out there. Come on. All calm and cool in the price corner. Third round of this, scheduled for eight. Liverpool's David Price, the 27-year-old, looking for his eighth straight win. Nice clipping left hook. And the advancing Roman Sukaterin from Minsk in Belarus in the blue trunks, giving away height, reach, talent so much, but he's been gutsy. How long will it continue? These body shots might start taking their toll on Sukaterin. 
Yeah, well, Price is starting a little bit more positively in this round. Maybe he fancies the stoppage. He will feel Sakatra maybe weakening up close in there, trying to do a little bit more holding, maybe coming a little bit more negative. Time to put the pedal down. Price has stopped five of his seven <laughs> professional foes. Went the distance over six rounds with Daniel Perret, a man they call Shrek from Russia and Norway, who we often see over here, testing our heavyweight, so no disgrace there. In fact, they probably wanted Price to get the rounds. And he's never been halted either, this Sukadarin, so maybe that's the idea with this one too. Well, you can see why, because he's seldom caught in the chin. The punches he, he does tend to take are on the forehead or partially blocked through that high guard. Price uh, not finding the chin yet, but if he keeps throwing those uppercuts, maybe one will do. No panic from David Price. Again, showing as he can throw a left hook. He's got the punches, hasn't he? The range of them. Yeah, but he's putting them together nicely. The body shots are beginning to work now. I think Sakatan really feeling those. He's not doing much up close. And in the first couple of rounds, he was trying to get close and get some punches off. Now when he's up close, he just wants to survive. This is really becoming heavy weather for him. Promoter Frank Maloney just in front of us, and he's looking relaxed and impressed with his young charge. Got big plans for Price in 2011. I think he feels with that amateur experience and quality, he can move him quicker than some of the others. Well, Price found the chin there of Sakatarin, and he took the punch well as the body shots working so well. It's precision from Price, weakening his man and not over-committing. I think this is a really good performance so far from David Price. Yeah, but I don't think he worries too much about the crowd's expectations. Some fighters there would be thinking, time to get that man out of there, but he's taking his time.